Hello everyone. In today's quick tip, we're gonna be looking at an error code that you may run into when you try to open up a file in Vetrix software. And this is code number 126663. And generally you will get this code when somebody shares a file with you and you try to open it. So in this video, I'm gonna explain what that is and why that comes up. Okay, so I'm gonna show you an example here of a file that was sent to me and this was made by another user and you could see the thumbnail looks good it is a 3d model of a aspire file so if i double click on that to try to open it up it's going to open up aspire like normal except i'm going to get this error code right here and it says fail to open file it will tell me the file location and then it'll give you the error code number and then if you click ok it just closes down and you're not able to open that file and the reason that happens is because that file was made in a pirated version of Vetrix software. So it was not a legitimate legal copy of the Vetrix software. And I'll show you what I mean by that. If you go to like eBay, you type in Vetrix software, you will see something will pop up for a very cheap price for a $2,000 software. So if you open this up, and you'll see the seller has zero reviews. So you could tell right away that's suspicious. And even when you scroll down to the description, they tell you do not process orders on eBay. You can only order it from their website. So those are major red flags there. You do not want to buy this. This is a pirated version. And these will get taken down from eBay all the time, but they'll just keep popping up selling pirated versions of the software. So the person that sent me the file that I was just showing you, he actually bought this and the software will work, but you're gonna have major problems later on. First, you don't even know what version this is. Right here it says version 10, but over here it says version 10.5 and then it says version 10 again over here. So those are two completely different versions. And then this isn't even the newest version. So the person that is pirating the software, they will try to keep up to date with them, but they never do. And then once you purchase this, you will not have access to update the software because this is a pirated version. So you're gonna be stuck in whatever version you purchased. And then the biggest problem of all is if you were to create a bunch of files, let's say you created a hundred files over the course of a few weeks or a few months. And then let's say you wanted to update your software or actually buy a legitimate version of the Vetrix software. Once you do that, all of these files that you created, you will no longer be able to open those in the legitimate version of the software. There are a few ways around that by exporting some of the items from in the Vetrix software. So you'd have to open it up in the pirated version that it was created in, and then you'd have to export the vectors and then export the 3D clip art. And you could export the toolpaths as a template, but it's gonna take you a lot of time to have to re-import those into the new legitimate version and recreate all those files. That can take you hours, weeks, or months to recreate all of the files that you created. So it's just not worth all of that work just to try to save some money on the software. So whenever you do try to purchase a Vetrix software, I would recommend getting it right from Vetrix. So you can do that at vetrix.com slash purchase and they have all their different packages here. Now, of course, the Aspire software is very expensive and you don't really need that unless you wanna do custom 3D modeling. But for most of us, the lower packages will do just fine. VCarve Desktop is a great spot to start. And then if you need to do a little bit bigger projects, you can go up to VCarve Pro, which is much more affordable rather than Aspire. But the great thing is you could buy any one of these packages and let's say you bought VCarve Desktop for $349. If we scroll down here, you could see Vetric has the option to do upgrade pricing. So you say, what software do I have? Which would be VCarve Desktop. And then which one do you wanna buy? You see the price difference right here. 350 to upgrade to VCarve Pro or 1645 to upgrade to Aspire. So all you do is pay the price difference. There's no extra additional charges. So that's what's great about Vetrix uh, pricing structure. And if you don't purchase from Vetrix, the only other places to purchase from is legitimate resellers. And to be a reseller, 
you have to be selling a CNC machine. So if you're buying from a retailer that does not sell a CNC machine, they are most likely not a legitimate reseller. Uh, but I will show you an example. Some places that are legitimate resellers actually have a little bit of a discount. So we can see, for example, VCarve Pro here is $6.99 on the Vetrix website. But if you go to Onefinity, which is a CNC machine, you will see that same option here for $6.29. So they have a little bit of a discount there. Same thing with VCarve Desktop. But as you can see, those are the only two options they provide. So not all the resellers will have all the different options. But that's all for this video. Hopefully that helped you guys out. And if you ever run into this code, you will know what it's from. So make sure you have a legitimate version of Vetric software. And if this video helped you out, make sure you like and subscribe for more.